Good morning, tubers. How's it going? It's about yeah, nine something. We had rain yesterday, which was nice because it uh, washing stuff away and. Well, hopefully it rained out in the gorge because it had some pretty bad forest fires out there. Um, I think it burned like a total of 41,000, probably more by now. 41,000 some acres um, burnt and part of that was started by a 15 year old kid, believe it or not. Uh, but anyways, the rain has kept the smoke down. It was pretty bad the other day. It did, the wind blew in from uh, out past the electric company blew out this way and um, quite a bit of big section of Oregon got all that smoke it was awful me and you we're gonna we're gonna hang out today um, I'm just having coffee getting ready for the day um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in the truck and since I finished up all that maintenance we did a few I, I did a few videos ago or a video ago <coughs> um, she's all set to go topped off with coolant Got fresh oil. Uh, we're gonna get in the truck. I gotta go to Home Depot and get a couple of tarps, uh, mainly mainly just for containment. And then we're gonna go over to the uh, landscape supply and pick up a yard, a yard or two of gravel. I'm actually gonna measure out this driveway here. Now part of the first half of it's gravel and it needs to be uh, respread. So um, I was talking with my landlord and uh, told him my uh, plan. And uh, he's actually going to reimburse me for my expenses on taking care of the uh, property here. So I think I'm going to take the trailer. That way if it gets loaded up good enough, it, it doesn't affect the truck as far as weight capacity. It's just all in the trailer. So I think we're going to do that. Um, I'll, I'll get out there here in a few minutes when I'm done with my iced coffee. And uh, I'll go hook up the trailer and see about swapping tailgates. Um, I need to either get a tailgate for that trailer or build one. Oh man guys, it's getting cold as shit out here. It's like 50 degrees out here. I'll have to get a jacket. Uh, so yeah, what I want to do, I at least want to get this driveway redone because look, huge puddles of water under it. So I'm doing the both section, sections. Uh oh, um, so I'm gonna move this thing back over there, and I'm gonna measure this out. I think a yard or two <clears throat> might do it. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use the trailer. Um, I'll probably get two yards, and then whatever whatever's left, I'm gonna start throwing over there, and I'll probably get some more and throw it in there and create a just a nice. A little section instead of it being like grass and stuff this is my idea to do all this I'm just trying to keep this place looking nice you know um, at, at least out here never mind in here but uh, I'm just trying to keep it nice because you know, everybody drives by and you know it, it just because this place went up before I um, before the my landlord got a hold of it it was just uh, it looked like a crack house and so I'm just trying to keep up on the maintenance but Luckily, the landlord is like, yeah, 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 I'll, I'll pay you back for that. So I'm like, okay, cool. Okay, I had a little bit of a fight, but I got this crap hooked up. Um, yeah, so that the problem is I had this pushing, uh, pushing on me, and even with the block there, it was it was wanting to go like, like that was wanting to go back, and this come down. It was so stupid. I finally got it, got it on there, all hooked up and everything. Uh, got the tailgate from the truck onto here. Kind of messed them up a little bit. Yeah, sorry, tailgate. Um, uh, but it, the uh, the, this bed is an 85 and it had um things for having the uh, cable, which I hate. I hate the cable ones, this is so stupid. Um, but that's beside the point. It uh won't let the metal straps click onto it. So when I shut it, it kind of kind of pushed the things out a little bit, unfortunately. So I have to bend that back and just yeah. So this is this is on here. 
I'm gonna end up building a tailgate for this thing. I, I think what I want to do instead of have something that comes down, I kind of would like to build something that has like dual doors that swings out. So yeah, it's just a it's just a thought. But anyways, nothing's in here. Nothing will fly out. This is all strapped down. I'm waiting for someone to make a comment about these holding the bed together, but that's not that's not true. These are these are cargo straps. I leave in here because I hate when you go and pick something up. Like an example, washer and dryer. So you're doing scrap. I freaking hate it when shit slides around, it's banging around, making a mess of the bed, making noise, and it's not. It's just not safe. So I like to keep stuff strapped down. So that's why I have these in there, and I keep bungee cords in the box. So oh, this is all hooked up. We're actually gonna go run to the dump real quick. I gotta get rid of all this crap. This has just gotta go. I don't even know what the hell that was. Oh. That's, uh, I told the landlord to go, hey, if you're going to throw anything out, put in the trailer. So this is what he threw out. He was doing parts of the deck. Anyways, I'm getting on a rambling sidetrack, sidetracking, but uh, pretty much ready to go. I'm going to throw that stuff in there and then uh, head on out. All right, dude, it's time to check the lights. Well, that's one, that one's going. That one's lit. Got some more shit to throw in there. That one's gone. We're going back here. Fire lights. Tubers. I got a lot of hair. You go across the street. I had to pull back around. I was uh, forgot the coolant and oil that I wanted to get rid of. So we're gonna go cut over to a different highway. We're not gonna go the normal route. I normally go that way because the dump is on Highway 30. So so I might as well go towards Highway 30. This bit I actually want to get on video because this this road is interesting. Vehicle right there is for sale. <laughs> if 
if I had the money, I'd buy it, turn it into a mobile, uh, like, repair rig, and then, uh, turn around and sell it, or keep it, or make it a camper, convert the back end into a camper. toes it's it's not too it's not heavy the truck doesn't even know it's there and then on top of that it uh since it has full suspension it just it's, it, it's marshmallows compared to a normal trailer where it's just got the spring that's like not even got a shackle on it it's just rubbing up against the frame and uh, yeah, yeah barely has any flex to it you hit a bump and it's like yeah 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 I hate I hate trailers like that and a lot of them they're all set up that way I just I, 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 yeah no shocks what kind of shit is that? No shocks? Uh, when we get to the scale, we're gonna find out how much we weigh. Just gonna go 55. This this road is not a it's pretty beat. It's a lot of log trucks roll through here and yeah, it's it's a whole miss. I don't know how good those shocks are on this trailer. I might get a, a a new set just to have fresh shocks in it. She looks a little bouncy. Might get a set of fleet shocks for it. As soon as it rained, there was there was an accident immediately after the rain followed. Um, two cars wiped out. One of them looked like it rolled off into the trees. I I just I don't understand what what the deal is. Why people have to drive so carelessly on a road like this? when you got some weather rolling in and these roads haven't been wetted down in months so when they do get wetted down all that oil and tire stuff comes back up it's like take it easy people 
Well, every time it rains out here, I swear to God, every time it rains, there's a really just stupid accident. I got a couple of pictures of that accident uh, I got off the community page. I'm not going to put them in the video just because just, just they're not my pictures. And the trailer's hanging on. I'll probably get a set of tires for the trailer. Probably get a matching set of tires. Uh, when I get new tires for this, tires for the trailer, matching set. Thinking about the Falcons, I think we're gonna do that. This should weigh about 6,500 to 7,000 pounds, but we're gonna go with 7,000. We're gonna call it seven. See what we weigh. People said a crew cab long bed 86 F350 weighs 9,000 pounds, and we weighed it with me and Adam in it. And two full tanks of diesel, 4BT Cummins, Dana 60 straight axle. Uh, even had the heavy duty spring pack in the back. That weighed in at 6,400 pounds. And yeah, that was me, Adam, and, and one other adult. Not just me and Adam, there was another adult in the vehicle. I think it was his wife brother or whatever, whoever tagged along with us that day. You know, I don't remember going this road, but it's going to St. Helens, which is going to take it, or, uh, it's going to take us to, uh, Highway 30. That's where I want to go anyways. I think a yard weighs, uh, thousand and, thousand and a half. Just gonna, I think I'm gonna do one yard. See where that puts the trailer, and I might do uh, like a half a yard or another yard. Might as well just do two yards. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what the truck and trailer do with that. All right. And just like that, we're to Highway 30. There is actually some good scenery. I should have left. I, I, I knew it. Should have just left it on. Hill climbs, this thing did pretty good. I didn't even push it. Alright, so we dumped our crap off. We had. Let me show you guys your level. We had like 200 pounds of stuff. Um, let's see. We came in at 6,560 pounds. We left at 6,280 pounds. That's, so we weigh as much as a crew cab right now. Don't feel like it. <laughs> Okay, let's head into town and uh, by the way that was 25 bucks to take all that plus the coolant and, and the propane tanks. I had a bunch of empty propane tanks, little tiny ones, 25 bucks. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm going to run back into town. I'm actually going to see if mom has a reason to use the trailer while they have it hooked up and I'm in, in, in town. And then I'm gonna go get a load of gravel. All right, tubes. I don't know if you can see it, but we got one yard of gravel in the trailer. See, I'm probably gonna just turn around and go back out. This is sort of a one-way. That was 55 bucks. Well, I bought a shovel because I don't have a a good shovel. Got a little tiny troweling one or whatever the hell you want to call it, like good for like doing concrete and stuff. Real light, light shovel. Um, and then I'll have, I've got a real shovel. It's 13 bucks for a shovel. 
Oh, I hope he's not going to block the way. I need to get through. Yeah, the trailer's... I think it's at its... Almost at its limit. Not quite on the bump stops. But, uh... I think what I'd like to do is throw a couple extra springs in there and a nice... I don't think it has an overload. I want to get a good heavy overload in it. And a nice set of shocks. Well, we'll see how she does. I bought a tarp to lay in there so, you know, won't make... lose any rock, but I think it'll be fine. I'm doing it. We're going. really a yard of gravel back there what if I put a sterling ten and a quarter in there bigger uh, stiffer springs and then I can get two yards of gravel in there at least be able to get two yards of gravel in Oh, 
tow truck. I think it's a tow truck back there. Watch, there's gonna be an accident on 47. Someone tried to pass somebody who was already going 65 miles an hour. The guy hit 75, his wheels broke traction, and then he rolled over into the fucking trees! I don't want to burn up fifth gear. Fifth gear is not a big gear in this transmission. Remember, we have an M5OD in this thing. Uh, earlier when I went to the dump to drop off a bunch of crap, um, there was a cop just had somebody pulled over. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, when he got back on the road, he was kind of kind of pacing me a little bit right around the trailer area, and I was like, oh god, he's gonna he's gonna pull me over. And then want to inspect the trailer. No, he just went yelp. Yeah, no smoke. She's burning efficiently. These people had a big estate still. Of course, I didn't have any, you know, spending money. And now they're they're done with the sale. And, and it pisses me off, you know? Usually I pull this in fourth, but I'm gonna throw her into third. glad I don't have those 35s, man. I don't know if I can make it. 411s and 33s. I think I'll be happy with that setup. Fifty-five bucks for a yard of gravel. I could almost go back and get another yard. and It was $42 a yard. Now that I know what a yard is, what this trailer can handle. I can just, you know, go in and be like, I need a yard of this. And then, you know, the trailer will handle it and the truck will pull it. You know? As long as, you know, I'm not worried about this truck pulling it. You know, I know the engine can do it. If you just use the power a little differently, you know, gearing-wise. And drive conservatively. I'm not gonna go 70 like some people in their trucks do with a trailer and a damn skid steer in the back. Like, dude. This truck is doing really good. This is actually doing better than I thought pulling a yard of gravel. I thought we were gonna be huffing and puffing, burning up the clutch, popping an output shaft or something. But no, it's happy doing it. for what it is pulling a ton and a half of gravel oh, this guy's going from farm to farm or something he's got his dog in the back oh smells like a 460 carbureted something is it a bull nose I hate it when people put their dogs in the beds of trucks. I don't, I just don't get it. It's, it's not good for the dog. Yeah, trailer just, not, da, 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 da. yeah, watch out for that guy. He freaking will go around you whenever he feels like it. Going 80 miles an hour and he still passes me and almost wrecks at, when he gets in front of me. Like that's that's great, dude. I had 214 miles, and my gauge is registering over half a tank. Which means this is getting about 25 to 26 mpg. Yep. Mid high, mid to high 20s. I would fill up and you know see what it is what it's getting but uh 
Well, I don't need fuel, so I've got a 38 gallon tank, who cares? I gotta order a rod in kit for this uh, track bar. We're gonna we're gonna modify the uh, frame side of the track bar to have a rod in. So that'll be uh, that's that'll come up one of these days soon before winter before winter comes in and, and makes this all nasty i want to have more control on my steering right now i've got it's like made of yarn well i got the whole trailer dumped out um we got quite a bit to spread around but i'm gonna probably go get a rake spread it around a little bit i might have to go get another yard uh probably won't do it today but we'll get it probably get another yard and um dump it in and spread it uh the thing is i wanted to take care of let's see where that water's puddled up i wanted to take care of spots like that so i'm just going to kind of blend this in and and we should be good to go so i'm going to take a quick break get some coffee and uh get you guys inside damn it i still don't have internet power goes out for like two seconds and then no internet i'll probably go and get another ton and a half of this same stuff. I went and watered it down so it would kind of blend in with the rest. Um, I think I want another, another round because I need to fill in this. I want to get it right up to the edge of the driveway and basically fill in the rest of that. But I was able to fill in the giant holes most of them anyways where uh, the wheels and tires kept turning and making holes so now when I park here park the Honda here I'm not freaking getting out into a foot of water so yeah I think that's gonna be it for this uh, we can go look at the trailer um, see what does someone say oh your welds aren't gonna hold up and I go well you know I think we did what we could do with that Harbor Freight Nothing broke. She was solid. Cool. Trailer's working out pretty good. So yeah, I measured this out. It was at uh, 31 inches with a um, ton and a half of gravel. So from the ground to the fender was um, 31 inches. And then uh, I measured it when I unloaded it and it was uh, like 35. So, uh, but it's funny, is I think that little dust shield right there go, uh, used to sit right around, and probably right around that where that dirt, edge of dirt is, when it was a truck, and the springs still had an arc to them, and we had probably eight inches of eight inches of room between the axle and the bump stop. So I don't think we were actually loading it up too much. Um, I think it probably could have done more, but the thing is it was already s sitting lower than the truck. So um, I think this, I would like to put a lift on this a little bit, uh, but, uh, or put airbags on it, probably put airbags on it. And then that way you just pump the airbags up and then you won't, you can keep it sitting good with the truck. But I didn't have any problems towing it, as you saw. So, um, anyways, I am done for the day. Um, I don't know if I'll do a video on getting another round tomorrow. It's just going to be the same story. Maybe just a, a vlog progress report video. But, anyways, I'm going back inside. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe.